the stream it's holy saint night here and this is gonna be I had the reset option so I took it now this is going to be I named this build uh, the light radius zero build uh, from Diablo 1 if you recall if you would make your light radius equals to zero the mobs couldn't see you because you were in a sense invisible you could see them however by using uh, infravision to the spell as well as uh, the light radius equals to zero you could do it with items and you had the assassin class it was fine the way they did it now in this game first we're gonna look at the gear in this game I mean that's why this game is so good it's uh, you can make tons of builds but here is the thing now I don't as you see my gear is rubbish uh, you don't need gear like I said to make it now 110 strength 110 dexterity 150 vitality and the rest points I just save them I don't need to spend them I even considered putting some points into energy but I don't think I will but just talking about it here is the thing why here is the thing why now also let me tell you guys I guess I could be using a guardian angel as an armor but currently I have uh, this, the Natalia Shadow, it also has a socket. Now why do I have Natalia Shadow? Okay. That explains why poison length is reduced heavily. Well, Guardian Angel because for the block and plus to maximum resistances. So... Uh, Ideally, I have uh, the Vampiric Gaze, that's a good one. Ideally, I would like a uh, String of Fears. So, these two stack for Magic Damage Reduction with this one. The set gives Magic Damage reduced by 15. The String of Fears also with Damage Reduction with the Vampiric Gaze. Now, I'm using currently Immortal King's War Belt and uh, Immortal King's Force the gloves and uh, though not necessarily I'm fine as I am at the moment and this is a, a very low vamp vampiric gaze the highest vampiric gaze is like 30% damage reduced So let's go with the gear I'm using currently. Two Jade Talons for the resistances. And on the swap I use the Minotaur. Uh, the hit because uh, it, it's not necessary to use this axe but it's uh, this uh, two-handed weapon with high damage but it's a good one with two high damage so I took it because of the crashing blow, the slow target as well as the blind they're gonna get blinded the way I'm gonna be playing this and uh, I tested it I mean I'm gonna explain what I did and after that uh, it's your call to try it uh, and they're gonna get uh, crashing blowed with the blade fury as well as the the Blade Fury, the um, Blade Sentinel, and even the, where is it? Yeah, not the Shadow Master. Yeah, the Blade Shield, when they get uh, close to me, they, this hits them. It counts as a weapon hit. 
So here, uh, so I can escape if I am being chased. So here is the thing. Let's go to the skills now. I reset it with 10 fists of fire, 10 claws of thunder, and 10 blades of ice, and 10 phoenix for their synergies. I put 5 on tiger strike. First I'm gonna go with what I put. I put 3 uh, on claw mastery because it's always useful to have it. But I guess uh, I'm gonna reach it like 5. So until level 90 I'm gonna put 2 more points here. 5. Uh, then one point on every, oops, let me swap, uh, you see they go up to nine now, and like I said, I don't have any charms that I want to have, so, uh, it's reached up to, as you see, 11, the claw master, and rest are just one point on anything here. And on traps, I went for one to death sentry for the corpse explosion. Uh, ten to wake of inferno, ten to wake of fire, and ten to fire blast. Because this increases the range of inferno, and uh, this also is like uh, it's like a mini stun, I think. So it's uh, useful, but I won't be using it that much. Yeah, it's got a right, it's an explosion. So there we go. Let me start telling you how it works. Uh, also, uh, I'm using the show skill tree. Let's show you in the options. Skill uh, speed bar, the skill speed bar. I put a hotkey that suits me, it's currently K because I can't have all the skills I'm using into hotkeys so some I just pick here and utilize them and the skills I'm utilizing here are from this way use most of them mostly is the burst of speed because they take a, they have a huge cooldown du big duration so I don't need to have them on hotkey the venom the fade and the mind blast now i know this is just me you can get to pick your own uh, style for example i can uh, this increase the fire damage that's why i have it uh, you can uh, remove some and put uh, others depends on what how you want to play uh, Okay, now, let me explain. When I'm about to cast, uh, like I was telling you, the Blade Fury and Blade Sentinel as well as uh, the Blade Shield, I swap to the Minotaur, to the two-handed uh, axe with the abilities it has, because these attacks inherit these weapon's abilities. So I get to crashing blow blind target and slow all with a single weapon it's a it's a kind of necessary for this build in a sense but uh, if you just just have high damage uh, 200 uh, that's just good even a rare would or a magic whatever so the shadow warrior For example, yeah, something I can. Uh, Not in town. No, it's, I guess I can. Uh, yeah, you want to cast the Shadow Warrior where, where I have these two occupied, the Jade Talons. So let's cast him again. Alright. No, not the Shadow Warrior, but the, her, the Shadow Master, sorry. My fault. <laughs> No, I guess I can remove this because he will be tough, he will stay uh, for a long time in battle. So I guess I can put, uh, where is it, uh, 
the mind blast where is the mind blast there it is I can bring put the mind blast over here not in town not in town yeah. I don't care much about the fire blast uh, to bring it, but it is useful, but I don't, so when I'm about to cast the ninja star, uh, the, uh, this blade, the blade of fury, I got a swap to the minotaur, it uh, has a lot of weapon swapping, like I said, weapon swapping is not for luxury. So as these attacks inherit the weapons damage and add these uh, damage that the skill say it's an adds damage to like the adds damage uh, i'm using the two hand weapon as well while uh, the shadow master that's why i need him to be tough in a sense and this is about uh, being in a team also you can't uh, you can kill of your own easier but it's not about this it's being on a team uh, the shadow Master, uh, master tanks, and uh, I mean not really tanks. It just attracts uh, attention, and uh, sorry about it. I'm a little bit tired. And uh, the blade sentinel, the blade fury, just do area of effect hits. It's uh, and damage. Uh, and this is this is the blade shield is for the blade uh, for the shadow warrior i guess you could invest some points on it but uh, not really because it gets to cast it uh, often so you don't need just one if in fact you don't need to invest any points uh, more because that uh, will uh, currently the shadow master is using all of them if you push points i guess it's gonna be uh, picking some more over the others now loot uh, i said i got plus bonuses from the items on vitality and strength so i'm good with it they're going to apply the weapon uh, attributes on uh, the mobs. So they're going to blind, slow, as well as crushing blow the enemies. So they won't. They will be locked on place. The shadow warrior, like uh, shadow master, will attract attention as well as the mercenary. With the aura, in a sense, will guarantee the hits because concentration guarantees hits. Now that I think of it, I can use a uh, different or a uh, mercenary, like a holy freeze one, or uh, a might, I guess, to increase uh, the damage because these hits are gonna land guaranteed in a sense. I think, uh, I think, in a sense, because of the high dexterity, we're gonna land our hits. Anyway, let's uh, hold that. Oh, my mercenary is dead. What the? Okay, I'm gonna give it to someone uh, low level. I don't need it to waste. Let it waste it for low levels. Afternoon. Okay. That was all my gold. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this guarantee hit, so we're gonna do, and they, they do a lot of damage. It may say 75% of weapon damage, but the cast is uh, like a, it shoots very fast. It's, I don't know if burst of speed uh, affects it, but it shoots very fast, and this just gonna hit everything. So it's a crowd control. And this is for the defense of uh, the Shadow Warrior, so the Shadow Master. Now, like I said, the Shadow disciplines, when you summon this, 
you want to be with the double wielding because it inherits uh, the attributes you have while you cast it. Uh, here, the levels you have it. And uh, now, while uh, all these will have, the Shadow Master will use these uh, in battle. So, and he's going to use any of uh, these uh, while he's fighting, any of the finishing moves. Usually, he's going to go for all now that we have them, and he's going to use them, d you know, depending where he needs. So, uh, this is gets up, okay, from 500 to 40, it gets up to 780. That's great. And, uh, when it is to finish them, to I mean, when it is for us to go to come in close range again, also don't bother with this. As you see, I now I'm using my two-handed. When I summon the Shadow Master, I have this max, so he gets all these at high level. Then I change because I don't need it to use these uh, Blade Sentinels and stuff. Uh, then when it is to move close range. I changed again, so I get this plus uh, for me now, not the Shadow Master. Now, uh, the traps, the traps are in a, aren't affected by it, and they work in uh, this sense. Uh, just hit a lot with, uh, this is a lot of uh, hits, it should fight times. But it's not about the damage, it's about how fast, uh, like the Sentinel, this counts as a, hi as a hit. And the Blade Sentinel uh, here, uh, this also counts as hits, which means it's going to be a lot of uh, hits on them to have them on, lock them in place, like I said, uh, recovery time. So you don't necessarily need the Minotaur because you can, to slow, you can use any weapon with high damage, air, air, or magic. Uh, but with the Minotaur, okay, it's gonna help much more. All these lock them in place, this uh, Wake of Fire. And uh, when it is to move close, of course, this helps also support the team because you lock them in place. And uh, it's about a uh, role in the team. The team is, uh, has the less players have an easy time hitting the mobs, they don't need to, you know have the bombs chasing them or they to chase them, they can't run away. And when this to go close, of course, we swap again to our double wielding, which we get uh, the Shadow Disciplines block. It's 49, but it's not 49, it becomes 50% uh, after uh, the Barbarian gives us uh, the plus one to skill, which is guaranteed to be in, uh, consider it as, take it as more likely we're gonna have a barbarian. So 50% starts to block, that's all we need. We don't need higher and we don't need to invest on dexterity for higher uh, block. Uh, and I think the maximum you can get from this if you put it is like 54 or something, 53, it can't go higher than this. So we're like having, we're getting the most of it in a sense. No need to. And uh, not here, not here. Yeah, the shadow boy would rarely die. Uh, now that, uh, as I said, he's gonna be really tanky with uh, the skill uh, that I uh, shadow with the plus two skills that I like. I said, what I'm going to use, uh, what I suggest for charms, except from items which give just plus two skill soft points for all. Skills or skill trees from charms. What I what do I suggest? Well, any would do, but even uh, because we're doing damage from, we're not going to gain much if we go for charms with uh, traps on the trap skill tree, because trap damage is it's about stun locking. Uh, recovery animation the opponent not 
and this uh, this uh, don't really depend that much uh, I mean it's good to have it use whatever you uh, you want but uh, in my uh, my usage of, uh, of this is uh, not uh, to use a lot of uh, skill charms, skiller charms for trap tree. Instead, I would go neither for martial arts because uh, okay, for martial arts they're gonna it's gonna be useful. It's gonna be useful because we have the synergy and we also boost it with uh, soft points for more damage. That's definitely gonna be useful. But uh, what I prefer to do, I prefer more uh, to hold on. I prefer more to go with uh, these three passive skillers, the shadow disciplines. The reason is. Uh, I get huge benefits uh, from uh, soft points in this tree. Uh, and uh, bonus to my summons, the Shadow Master like, uh, and the Shadow Warrior, depending on what you want to use. But uh, And as I said, uh, both of the Shadows need to be available at the same time. You should be able to have both Shadows active also as I said the mind blast it shouldn't convert it should uh, it should do like uh, it deals a lot of damage uh, and uh, I can't tell exactly what the duration uh, is, what it, uh, it does exactly. It stands for this seconds and it has a duration for whatever. Uh, ah, the conversion duration. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, The conversion duration is this. So, like I said, I don't want. It shouldn't convert. Instead, uh, let's uh, think of something. Uh, cool. It should. Uh, oh, I just had an idea. It should increase the chance of uh, the enemy mobs or players, I mean whoever is hit by it, to receive a critical strike. Just an idea. You know, because uh, you are dazed uh, by the mind blast, uh, you are weak, uh, someone is weakened if he's if he's having uh, something here if he's, if he's having a mind blast so being uh, weakened it means uh, the opponent is able to hit you harder so I don't know if uh, even there is a such a formula that has to do with the enemy being able to receive uh, a critical strike in a higher chance. I don't know if there is such a mathematical equation in this game, in the game's engine. Or let's put, put something... Uh, uh, something... Uh, other, an, another interesting thing. Also, I don't know if this inherits the weapon you're using ability, so which means with the, the hammer, psychic hammer for example, we can knock back enemies uh, 
if it if I can w with the weapon I'm using, for example, slow them and blind them if it counts as a hit. So if it does, that's uh, that's great. Like I said, this is a good ability. It's not just about the damage. So this is like uh, doing a range a range attack to, you know, let's try to find them just now. Where is it? Best of speed. Venom. And uh, what else am I using? Yeah, best of speed of Venom. And if I want to use the fade, I can. I don't want to do the fade now. So let me try now this. If I'm using the weapon. Though it doesn't say weapon damage, so. I forgot to... It doesn't seem to... Well, it doesn't seem to have an effect on the weapon. Well, it doesn't have an effect on the weapon, so it's alright. I guess it can knock back the opponent, that's uh, good already and have him into recovery stance and like I said, the attack speed counts for these abilities, not the, cast, the casting speed which means you get to have uh, to use it very, very fast which means this isn't the damage that it says on paper, it's much more on uh, its usage So, as I was saying, uh, I prefer these charms here for this tech tree, skill tree, and uh, some skills you need to pick them, like I said, from these options if you want to use them any given moment, even this for example. Uh, you need to have them on the I are to buy the skill. Oh, hold on. Well, if I press, not here. So it says, uh, press I to R to bind the skill. So it means I can bind more... Sh Maybe I can bind more skill if I uh, just activate this and have more hotkeys, but... If I press this, for example, L, no, it doesn't bind it. It, it doesn't. It just says, says it does. Alright, sorry about it. So as I was saying, I get you get a lot of benefits from uh, huge. Look at this, plus 44. You're not gonna waste, uh, and there is no synergy for this. Like I said, these uh, skills. If you put five, okay, I put. Uh, I'm gonna put about five points on claw mastery because it uh, it is useful and it early on until uh, it gives a critical chance on its point but then you don't gain uh, per, per level you gain you need to put uh, more points uh, like two points to gain a critical size or even three so it doesn't benefit us that much so I'm not uh, five points I guess I would say as long as it gives you plus to all of uh, its attributes per point but uh, not very high, I mean you can even skip some. So look, look at this, attack speed 40 plus 44% with these items becomes 
75 or something and this has very fast attack speed on the weapon uh, and there are also charms to increase it and other items like amulets fade whenever I want to use it uh, it gives you plus resistances, that's why I said the Guardian Angel is gonna be useful with this and it reduces the curse's duration on us uh, because uh, it's gonna boost our resistances up to like like 95% and we can use Absorb Ring like Raven Frost, Dwarf Star and uh, Something up for lighting, I don't know uh, what it is, uh, can't think of it now. Any amulet that absorbs lighting is there. So you get to absorb everything. And this also uh, affects the poison damage. It's not like the paladin that salvation increases uh, the elemental resistance. This also increases the poison resistance. The shadows are much tougher with it. We gain a lot. They don't want to die all the time. The Venom, look at this plus bonus to damage. Over 0.4 seconds. So you gain a lot. And this is uh, 10 levels on this, it's just fine. It's gonna synergize and get a good boost of damage as well as the soft points will give it even more damage. So it's a good spot here on 10. And the rest points you're gonna get from the leveling well, I would put uh, where is it? Martial arts. I would put on uh, on Tiger Strike, but not necessarily higher than uh, uh, higher than uh, five. I mean, after level ninety, where I'm gonna put uh, two more points here on Claw Mastery. I guess put wherever you want, wherever you need. If you want to try something right, you can put points in these two in traps. There we go. So in traps, this uh, you can s uh, you can put five here and five here. So no, oh, it's uh, five here and four here. Uh, oh, it's actually. You get to put 3, 3 and 3 and you get to 99. So you can split it here between these 3. Uh, now how you gonna use the traps? The traps you're gonna be... Uh, you're gonna be using them to... To... To, to have on uh, the mobs on animation like I said. And it's independent if you swap weapons or not, so don't worry about it. Not in town. Hold on. Yeah, with uh, dual weapons, psychic hammer deals more damage. Uh, dual weapon, it's like double damage. Okay, that's good. Hold on, if I put this, can't I put the psychic hammer here? No, I can't. But I can put this here. Ah, there, the fire blast. Which is unaffected. Uh, the psychic hammer, so we can't put the psychic hammer here. Hmm. I should, but I can't. I should have, but I can't. Anyway. Because I get to utilize these two slots also think of them as a slot this one I mean this it changes whatever you select from uh, pressing K so you can't uh, lock it 
in a sense. Where was it? There it is. But you can look at the first one. The, the traps are to have a hit animation on the opponent and uh, Wake of Inferno and uh, how can I put it? Pr finish him off if he's uh, kind of weakened. You know, it, it. You don't need to do millions of damage with a trap to kill the enemy. You're not gonna take all the health ba health pool out of the, with the traps. What you're gonna do is just use them to finish them off because if they have ten health, then it doesn't matter if you do ten uh, if you do. 100 damage or 50 damage the health is gonna be taken out if it has he has 10 health so that's about it Yes, you could also use, uh, like I said, uh, you can use whatever skill charms you want. You can even use uh, for uh, this tech tree to increase the damage effectiveness of the traps. So they're gonna finish off the opponents real hard, in a sense, like delivering the final blow. But uh, it's up to you. I prefer uh, having about a some skillers, I mean, coming up for all, it's uh, not really okay. Let's go to the points to the character seat, the points that I put. Having all, it doesn't. Uh, You can use anything you like. So let's go to the character seat. Now, a hundred and ten base value of dexterity and strength. What does this require? 105. Maybe I put a little bit uh, five more. I shouldn't have, but okay, it's not the end of the. I wanted it uh, because sometimes you may drop items if you die, and you don't have any uh, adequate strength. So I put uh, this a little bit more. L let me see how much uh, the Bardukes uh, want. How much? Uh, oh, 79, they are easily used use easily. So, well, I wouldn't say we wasted points because Not here. this is with the two-handed weapon, which requires 125 strength. Yeah, so that's... Uh, it's not the 110 that I have, so you never know. Maybe you want to use something with higher strength and dexterity so you, you may need to boost your and not use these items which give me plus strength plus strength plus dexterity huge um, numbers plus 20 from here and uh, plus 25 from the belt so it's always good to have some points to spare okay and psychic hammer of course benefits from double wielding so it means double the damage uh, yeah, it's not just what it says on paper, like I said. Sadly, uh, you can't use it on this tab, but I guess it's all right. Now, the points. I used to have 125 unused points, attribute points. You can do them whatever you like. 
put them wherever wherever you want. Now, uh, assassin gains mana from this, so you can you can put them wherever you like. Usually, they're gonna put them like all to vitality. This is how they're not gonna put points into energy or. Uh, Yeah, that's uh, what how usually it happens. You do they're not gonna put points. They're not gonna put uh, points into energy. It depends on the class, okay? For example, on the Necromancers, who, who is heavily dependent on energy, I put energy on my Necromancer. I put like a hundred plus, a hundred and fifty energy. He's making good use of it. He has bone. Uh, armor for uh, his health pool uh, he can use damage uh, to use uh, he doesn't need uh, in I didn't you put much vitality on it I don't uh, find it that useful on my way of playing but you can do whatever you like now on the assassin 118 energy What's the energy cost of this? 20 Okay, that's a lot of energy the abilities cost. This costs one, okay And the traps, like I said, that they're gonna be used on uh, Like to deliver the final blow and prevent the enemy from coming uh, very close to us that's how you do so it's not uh, that I'm gonna be spamming them so I don't uh, the energy cost let's see the energy cost of the skills okay these cost man of course which are buffs but martial last cost two three four okay this cost four this cost four this cost 15 10, 2, but you don't spam this. You don't spam this or this. And this costs 6. This costs 1, 2, and 4. Okay, there is, he's not that heavily, the assassin isn't that heavily dependent on uh, energy. He's got a base value of. 25 energy So I guess the soft points plus of for, for energy Let's say charms Can offer can give energy. I don't know if there are skiller charms with energy giving energy I will take that because it means he gets more energy uh, more mana per energy because he's got 25 is high starting uh, High base starting energy for the character when you start an assassin you have 25 energy. I didn't put a single point And what I'm using here is uh, some uh, Rubbish charms just to use them uh, just to It's nothing special about these charms. So you get to put all uh, the attributes wherever you want. Maybe I'm not putting any. And hold on. So this is 10 to 18, but this is double damage, okay? So it's not uh, just about the weapon damage. Oh no, this is also a subtle discipline. That's why it increases. Also, it's irrelevant to the weapon damage, to the weapon damage or dual wielding or rocket. It has to do with the level skill points you have on in it. Have on the skill.
So I guess I can put like one hundred and eighty points in vitality. I won't go for higher though. Let's see, one point gives three. That wasn't the three though, that was... Okay, it gives three and a half. Yeah, it gives three and a half points. So I need to have it... Like this on a... On a number that is divided by two to gain the most of it I not having a half point being wasted so I guess if I put 200 yeah, that's that's just good 200 vitality and the rest points I guess the, I'll save them for energy and for strength and dexterity if I need gear I'll just keep them there, there is nowhere to spend them, I have no reason to spend them anywhere currently so let's go now, players one let's go to act one, let me try to let me just show it again uh, Um, so I'm gonna do just that. Uh, Not here. Oops. Not in town. Yeah, pressing uh, K to buff me. Shadow Master, I didn't give it a. Uh, I didn't give it a uh, hot key because. Uh, it's supposed to last long. This also, now on this, blade shield, because I need to cast it on myself if something gets close to me. That's why I didn't, uh, I gave it a point. Okay, this is done. Uh, where, where else is it? Venom. And that's it. What else should I have? Uh, Kinda ready to go. I guess the psychic hammer to knock them back. Yeah, it's not that as well uh, with that. So let's find something. To, where is my. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing. Uh, let's find a group. There we are. Okay, stand looking them. Keeping them with the hammer, and they're down. Okay, so the world fights well. Okay, there's a, a bigger group. Yeah, it's a boss. And I was about to come close, but yeah, I'm dealing, as you see, as you know, I told you, crashing blows on this. With this, uh. Okay, it's just close. Uh, yeah, they just drop. I'm not even utilizing traps at the moment. But whenever I want, I just throw some traps. And mind blast. And the hammer there is just well, it's, it's a good choice. Let's see how fast I can cast it. How much energy it cost? Six. Well, I hope they don't kill the mobs because I'm not able to see how. Okay, there are some.
Well, it uh, it does work very very well. Get to do this uh, in the team game, attacking, and you want to spend your charges uh, in to attack uh, specific targets. You are an assassin. You're not a warrior, a general purple fighting warrior, and. Uh, So you don't want, for example, to waste your skills, you charge for uh, your finishing moves on regular moves. You want to attack uh, the bo uh, a pack leader bosses. You know, delivering some. Uh, you deliver fast hits with uh, crowd control and strong hits uh, for uh, big damage. Big single target damage, though the elementals are mostly for uh, crowd co uh, area of effect attacks. That's to help the that's to help the the shadow master deal uh, deal with them. Like I said, we need both of them active. And now let's go to the what I was also thinking. Well, I guess with uh, all these charges, they can uh, they can go with uh, this one. Or I don't think I need to invest uh, because it is a heavy investment. The Dragon Talon, you need to go only with this. Just having it do uh, two kicks. It's like. Uh, like zeal in a sense but it gets to do more hits uh, if you get it up to level 30 for example it deals six seven kicks or eight i don't remember to hit certain targets, uh, hit the bosses, hit the uh, and the, the close here that got uh, bonus to, uh, not this but other close they have uh, a lot of bonus to attack rating versus undead for example, you have to attack the undead mob, let's see Bartux have this uh, bonus to attack rating uh, against uh, demons or undead, no but they do Life story, and yeah, 20 strength, 30 dexterity. So, I guess I can. Uh, I can put one Bartux. Uh, I can put one Bartux for sure. And one Jade Talon. Faster hit recovery thirty percent. Okay. And I get some mana leads though it's not necessary. But also get some bonus to attack rating, so but I'm gonna lose the resistance, so I'll just keep them here for the time being. Let me see how these do. Uh, wake of Fire and Wake of Inferno plus one, plus two to Martial Arts. Alright. Increase the attack speed this. Okay. Okay, this... This is a Bartux. Uh, these are uh, not Bartux. Let's put them... I leave them here. Okay, so this is how you want to do it uh, in general. And then you have, uh, you only see, you know, big uh, enemies, uh, big, uh, a large group of enemies. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about it. Gathered, glanced up. 
you know, where you're fighting with your party in the Geos Sanctuary or Balran, just go ahead and do Not in town. this Not here. Mind Blast. So in a sense, you will ground control them also, then start throwing the stars and, uh, you know, that's like confusing them. Though I would have Mind Blast, uh, Converting them is 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 good ha as they have it. Uh, in a sense, it just shows how a Sanctus moves stealthy, and they won't be able to see you because you don't convert them really with your to take them with your side. But uh, you know they lose targeting you. They lose your target. Uh, don't target you anymore. They get confused, and how assassins confuse the, their targets into engaging on uh, com how the assassins confuse the enemies into engaging on targets they are not supposed to engage like uh, a radar uh, in the military you will see a radar uh, radar uh, tricking uh, hacking a radar etc so and uh, yeah, I keep this psychic hammer over here. I always have it. I like to have it on this uh, slot by on the default, unless I want to use something else, and then put it back in because uh, it, it is a useful skill and uh, it pays off. Uh, it pays off a lot. Uh, you can. You can, I think you can push back uh, bosses, like pack bosses. I don't think you can push back Diablo, for example, or, uh, you know, the act bosses. But you can push a regular mob boss uh, of a pack. So I'll have it here to utilize it wherever I need it. Nine level isn't low, it's, it's uh, quite uh, high. So guys, uh, thanks all for watching, I hope you will find it uh, good to use this or you, know, you can make tons of variations and builds, the, the classic is... Not here. What the? Not here. Ah, um, accidentally placing another skill. And I love this, uh, that they enable us to use skills, utilize the skills with this uh, hotkey bar because I can put the skills here also, which means better gameplay and you can go with the usual uh, max dragon talon uh, with items so you get to do a lot of hits uh, tiger strike for a lot of hits uh, to boost it on the dragon talon with the dragon talon you can also go for uh, cobra strike uh, it they synergize as well cobra strike with uh, Dragon Talon and Tiger Strike, as well as uh, the Dragon Claw. It's also synergized as well because it's a dual attack. So I think the Dragon Tail doesn't synergize as well with this build that I'm now saying the Dragon Talon uh, and uh, Cobra Strike and Dragon Claw. Uh, the dragon flight synergizes with uh, either. It synergizes with uh, either. Uh, it's a, a long range uh, hit. Uh. So you can use it with either the charge up or uh, the tiger and cobra. my mercenary and you know you also in this build uh, you tend to put a lot of points uh, in claw mastery because you know damage you want to damage and uh, where is you put points I help people put points in a uh, weapon block they put the uh, at least gets 54 or something 53 what's the max uh, well you can do and this one it reduces the enemy defense, but it's uh, 
currently it's uh, we have it on level 9 I don't know how what they put it uh, other people put it uh, who use other builds it reduces the enemy defense yeah that's uh, cool and it also see uh, like I said w once they make out mechanics the barbarians uh, howl uh, battle uh, howl uh, war cry battle cry and uh, taunt there will be much uh, class synergy now in the game so it's gonna be really cool teams of players going uh, to make their runs it's gonna be really fun if they do it this way so this is it uh, like I said, I'm gonna put two more points here to level 80 and then uh, spread the remaining nine into uh, into what? No, not this. No, just spread the remaining points into the traps. One, three on each. Hold on. Yeah, I can go with three on each. Uh. Or I can go with... Uh. Yeah, this I will do to split the damage well. Three on each. Whoa. Wake of Inferno wake of fire and fire blast uh, you gotta get plus three more so up to 99 this is the full level the full uh, three of this uh, build so guys thanks all for watching be well everybody and uh, see ya in the next uh, cast whenever it is